Searching for where to live in San Antonio and curious about Alamo Ranch? From starter homes to gorgeous estates, this neighborhood offers something for just about everyone. Today I'm going to tell you all about what it's like to live in Alamo Ranch, one of the newest and fastest growing areas in all of San Antonio, so stay tuned. Hey there, this is your realtor Denise Ross with Keller Williams Realty here in San Antonio, Texas. And I absolutely love helping people make San Antonio their home. So if you have any questions about the area or are ready to get your move started, please call, text, or email me however you'd like to reach out. And if this is your first time to the channel, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified every week when we post a new video. Now we're gonna jump right into learning all about Alamo Ranch. Alamo Ranch is a newer master plan community really only developed in the past 15 years or so and it is huge. It is made up of a number of different subdivisions and it is located on the far western edge of San Antonio at the end of Highway 151 and outside of the outer loop, Loop 1604. Despite its location on the outskirts of the city, Alamo Ranch is surprisingly centrally located to area amenities, entertainment, schools, shopping, and employers. It's pretty much a straight shot on Highway 151 to downtown, which is about a 20 minute drive. And it's about 14 miles to Lackland Air Force Base and about that same distance to Port San Antonio, UTSA, Valero Energy Headquarters, or world-class shopping at the shops at La Cantera or The Rim, or Fiesta Texas theme park. So you probably don't need to leave the area to find everything that you need. There's an HEB, which if you've watched any of my other videos, you know how much San Antonians love HEB, which you will soon discover when you get here. There's an HEB right in the neighborhood, as well as two others very close by, one of which is an HEB Plus. In the Alamo Ranch Shopping Center, there's pretty much every retailer or restaurant that you could possibly want, including Target, Penny's, Best Buy, Lowe's, Ulta, or Dick's Sporting Goods, and everything from sushi to burritos and sandwiches and more. There's also a mega movie and entertainment complex here called Santico's Casablanca, which has a cafe, a bar, an arcade, bowling lanes, and 16 movie screens. There's even a cool trendy food truck park nearby. There's plenty of other entertainment nearby as well, with SeaWorld being only four miles away, which is of course a really big tourist attraction, but also really popular with locals and families as well for the shows and rides, as well as the water park, Aquatica, which is open seasonally, while SeaWorld itself is pretty much open year round. And it's really great to get season passes if you're gonna be going there frequently, because it makes it really affordable and easy to go. I know with my kids, sometimes we would get tired after being there for only a few hours and I didn't feel bad about only going for a few hours since I had the season pass. There's a couple of nearby golf courses and a disc golf course at Northwest Vista College as well as some indoor and outdoor shooting ranges. It's not a far drive to Medina Lake, it's about 30 minutes away if you're into boating or water sports or fishing. Also nearby is the Government Canyon State Natural Area, which has miles and miles of trails for hiking, biking, walking, um, as well as some fossilized dinosaur footprints, which are really cool to see. Don't be deceived, however, by Alamo Ranch's close proximity to the city and all the attractions. It was originally a working cattle ranch until the development started in about 2006, and it has not lost its hill country peaceful vibe. Alamo Ranch has rolling hills and beautiful views, and the development of the area combines perfectly with the privacy and natural beauty of the Texas hill country. And this area is known for its beautiful landscaping, mature trees, generous sized backyards, and lush views. Perhaps one of the most sought after features of Alamo Ranch is its location in the Northside Independent School District, one of the most highly acclaimed school districts in the entire area. Because Northside tries to keep a close eye on attendance numbers, there are still new schools built annually since the area is still growing. All of the schools in the area are rated very highly though on texasschools.gov. And Northside offers excellent programs, including several magnet schools which are geared toward different areas of industry or interest. As San Antonio's biggest master plan community, this neighborhood offers something for just about everyone. And affordability is one of the biggest factors that draw people to this area. 
Because of the size of the community, Alamo Ranch offers a wide variety of home styles and prices in several smaller neighborhood subsections, which give it that small town neighborhood feel. There are numerous subdivisions, including the trails, the preserve, the summit, Santa Maria, and the terraces. This provides that small neighborhood feel with a specific atmosphere based on home style and price. This diverse selection ensures there is something to fit almost everyone's needs, whether you're looking for a starter home or a luxury home. There's even a community focused on green living. The trails at Alamo Ranch is considered an energy efficient community. There are both gated and non-gated communities with large mature trees that reflect the hill country beauty right in your own backyard. Oversized home sites in many of the communities offer a little bit more elbow room for your family and space between you and your neighbor, but also offer a lot of potential for outdoor entertaining. Because this area is still growing, there's still a lot of communities that are actively under construction with some of the top name builders in the entire San Antonio area. Smaller homes are going to start in the $300,000 range and go up to five dollars to $600,000 as you get to the larger square footage and more luxurious fixtures and finishes on the oversized lots. While Alamo Ranch is a great choice for families, it's also the choice of many retirees. Del Webb at Alamo Ranch is an exclusive gated community for adults 55 and over, and it offers a lot of amenities and a variety of home sizes. A little bit further out, the communities of Cross Creek and Stillwater Ranch offer a similar style and feel if you're open to being a little bit further outside of Loop 1604. The neighborhoods in Alamo Ranch offer some of the best amenity centers in all of San Antonio. So there's plenty to keep your family occupied and having fun without ever having to leave the neighborhood with sports courts, pool and aquatic centers and playgrounds and more. Because of its location outside of the city limits of San Antonio, you have the benefit of the lower taxes since it's not being taxed by the city of San Antonio yet still in Bear County. There are obviously a lot of pros to living in the Alamo Ranch area, but I wanted to make you aware of one of the cons, and that is traffic. Traffic on 1604 can be frustrating at times, and traffic on Calabria Road or Alamo Ranch Parkway can also be heavy. But let's be clear, we're not talking about the kind of traffic that um, you find in LA or Houston. Traffic here in San Antonio is typically heaviest during rush hour and is almost always moving. It rarely ever is at a complete standstill. So um, just something to be aware of when you're looking for a home and thinking about how what your commute to work would be like. If you have any questions about Alamo Ranch or living anywhere in San Antonio, please don't hesitate to ask. And Post in the comments below, what are your thoughts about Alamo Ranch? Is it an area that you would consider living in? And if you liked this video, you should watch this one next. Thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.